Yo, G-O-H. raining B word. I can't say that on stream because people will laugh at me. So, raining B. The task annoys you. I have to wait for the task to know when to time it. Uh, a bagol. A bagol. Bagel. A bagel. See, I can say it. A bagel. You guys think that I don't say it properly? A bagel. Two bagels. See? Can't laugh at me now. I say it just like you guys. Oh, I see. You guys want me to see it. You guys want me to say bagel. That's what you guys want me to say. Oh, I get it. You guys want me to say bagel instead of bagel. You want bagel, not bagel. Yeah, no, I get it. Bagels are are worse for you because of how dense they are, man. So much so much bread in the in the the bagel. It's so thick, man. Shouldn't eat them. Bagel versus bagel, right? Is that the war we're in right now? Bagel versus bagel. Yeah, get the thin ones. Don't eat bagels, guys. Don't eat bagels and don't eat bagels. Or bagels. Dense and delicious. Same shit, different pile. That's right, tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Pasta and pasta. I still remember the first time I said pasta on the stream. They don't sound the same. They sound the same to you because you say it incorrectly and there's so much emphasis on the A that you don't notice the difference in the E, right? So bagel and bagel. Those are two different sounds right there. I didn't notice that most Canadians don't notice the difference because we say bagel. The same, we also say pasta. But people in America pronounce it pasta. gone through this so much. People in Texas, they call it a Coke. But people in Carolina or Wisconsin, shit like that, right? Call it pop. But most... Like, what do, what do you guys call it in New York? Teeks? What do you guys... Pop is dumb, just call it soda. But I mean, it's called soda pop. So I mean, you still call it like, it's, I don't see how it's dumb either way. Nobody's dumb for saying things the way you say things. Just remember that. Don't listen to them. You're not, no one's dumb for saying things the way you say it. Don't, don't listen to that. You say things whatever way you want. Somebody says pop, you know what they're talking about. Don't be difficult. British Columbia, it's, it's like all Canada, all of Canada, they just call it pop, it's weird. Nice, that was a good one. So that might be bad for him. 
In te no, in Texas they say Coke. Right? Do you like a Coke with that? What kind of Coke would you like? <laughs> I don't I don't think I can do a very good uh, Texan accent, but I know in Texas, or some parts of Texas, it's referred to as just simply Coke. Like Coke is the soda. So so what if you wanted a Sprite? Would you say, can I get a Sprite Coke? Or do you just say, can I get a Sprite? I want a Sprite Coke. Coke refers to brown soda. Weird. So what if you wanted a root beer? You, I guess you would just say, can I get a root beer? A Sproke? Yeah, you want a Sproke? You want a... Do you want a light Coke? <laughs> do you want white Coke? <laughs> My Mo Mick. All right, early hammer number four today. You guys were so into your pop conversation that you didn't notice what was going on, did you? You guys had no idea. I noticed, Mitch. I noticed. <laughs> pick me, pick me. Yo, Zipper with the gift sub. Thank you so much. Come on guys, we can get to 22 today. That's easy for our channel. I mean, we're Mitch frickin' Flower Power. Easy, hype train, now's the time. This is it. This is it. Yo, Lat Mac, you welcome back for 27 months, my dude. How goes it, Lat? How you doing, man? All right, notifications are up. Dude, he'll never randomly get out of my way, favorite pie. Never does. Ooh, yeah, we're scamming. Have a Coke to celebrate have this early hammer celebrate run. This a run. Thanks, man. What kind of Coke should I have? Should I have a root beer Coke? Or should I have a, a Coca Coke? Or should I have a Pepsi Coke? What if you ask for Pepsi in Texas? How does that work? Is that like a sin? <gasps> If a Coke is Coke, then Pepsi couldn't possibly be Coke. Yo, thank you for the four gift subs. We made it, guys. Heck yeah. Can I get a Dr. Pepper Coke, please? How about an orange Coke? I'll tell you what I want, okay? I want a big bowl of penne pasta. A big bowl of penne pasta with two bagels on the side and a pop. <laughs> Yo, me Martin. With the 10 gift subs, thanks so much. Sorry guys, I just went so Canadian there on you guys. Can I get a pop with a couple bagels and some pasta? <laughs> you guys think I'm losing my Canadian accent? Like, if I say out and about, do you guys still hear it? Do you guys still hear it? You do, huh? I guess I wouldn't- I don't say A anymore, though. That's weird, eh? Like, I don't- I never say- I say huh. It's definitely a, a cultural thing, because not being in Canada, I never hear anyone say A. I hear people say huh, and I use it. They're both the same thing, right? A and huh are the exact same thing in two different countries. Which is stupid because one makes fun of the other. It's like, it makes no sense. But anyways, where you are, I've definitely adapt, adapted to saying that. Instead of saying, uh, A. And when I talk to Chad, he says it all the time. I hear it all the time. I can never not hear it when it's used because it's like so unfamiliar, familiar to me. Yo, 
thank you for the 10 gift subs, man. Let's freaking go, dude. He's starting a revolution. A 2150. That's what we're at. Can I get a burger? Did you know ha huh, is the only thing that means the same in all languages? I didn't know that. That's weird. I have no idea. All right, we're gonna get a task world three, right? Is that what's happening right now? Bloke. Ubic? That's one. Ubic? Oh, yeah. Like, my stepdad has said that to me before. He'll, like, tell me to go do something, and it'll be like, Ubic boy? And the first time he said that to me, I was like, what the fuck does that mean? It's, it's pretty much the same as, like, you get it? You understand? Huh? You get it? You comply? could play Mario All-Stars. All right, switch, boys, switch. Yeah. Not a fan of this up pattern. Oh, you piece of garbage. He's looking right at me. Canadian split pea soup is the bomb. This party has to be the bomb, don't you get it? Sorry, I gotta take the South Park quotes when they happen. I gotta take them. All right, we got one minute left at 40 seconds. Or wait, we got one minute left at 40%. I don't know, guys. We haven't beat level five yet today. Are we going to though? That's the question. Yeah, he's looking right at me, and he's like, hey, guess what? <laughs> Moving a two away from me. He knows I can't pass level four, so... You son of a bitch! I can just see him, it, like, far away in a field across, like, a baseball diamond of kids playing, and I can't cross it. That's two four, pretty much. Sherbert ice cream? And a Sherbert! No, it's just Sherbert. Bro, okay, they were like, yeah, it, big 20 guys, and you have a month and a half to learn 20 games, or for most people, it's like 18. Okay, yeah, month and a half, learn 20 games. <laughs> you have to already be like a diverse gamer. Yo, guys, thank you so much for the support, yeah! The Lego nest that Ryukar built, yeah, that's cool. I used to be a pro builder, Lego builder in high school, so building an NES Lego to me is not really all that impressive. I built like soft tails and uh, aircraft carriers and shit out of Lego. We're talking like three, three to seven thousand piece Lego sets for what I used to build. I'm not. It's it's hard to impress me with Lego. I'm gonna tell you that much right there. Gotta do it, man. You gotta pony up, right, Kayla? Why did I stop? Uh, okay, so my, like, little mantle that I had in my basement when I was in high school, it filled with Legos, and, like, Chad can vouch for me, man. We had, it was full of Legos, so I kind of stopped, but they stopped releasing the Pro Builder sets. So the Pro Builder sets were always based on uh, very difficult things to build, We never broke any of those Legos, my sisters did. 
So the Pro Builder sets had minimized instructions so that you had to actually try, right? Most LEGO sets, you just follow the instructions and it's like, you're not really accomplishing anything. But the Pro Builders, they gave you like minimal instructions and they were always over like 3,000 pieces. The only ones that were, the only Pro Builders that were really easy to build were the, were the tanks, because tanks aren't that big. The Pro Builder sets were like the legit, that's what, yeah, that's what I did. It's like almost building without instructions. I remember the battleship, yeah, that was a big fucking thing. The aircraft carrier was huge, man. Yeah. That was like 7,000 pieces or some crap. I built two motorcycles as well. A soft tail and a decker. I had two uh, pro builders. God, what else did I have? I had an aircraft carrier, a tank. Oh, I had a train! I had this giant train. I remember the train, yeah. I built the train too. Alright, please move down, Hammer Brother. Uh, I had a pro builder, US Enterprise. That's right. The Enterprise. I built that. Oh, come on. Come on, bro. Come on, don't do this to me, World 4. Don't do it. Come on. Come on. It's over. It's predetermined. That star. He's... When I entered World 4, that star's pattern, like the way that Hammer Brother moves, is like set in stone. It's like an equation. It, it, unbreakable. Guaranteed. Watch. They're gonna switch, I'm gonna music box, and then I'm gonna have to try really hard to not get fucked over by the P-Wing. And that is my life. Dude, imagine a Pro Builder set of building a 3D version. Building a 3D version of the state of Texas. Be like 110,000 pieces. I told you guys, I already know that the Hammer Brothers are gonna do that. It's predetermined in the game's code. When the star bro goes right after 4-1, that it's already I already everyone knows what's gonna happen. It's predetermined. There's no there's no avoiding it. You can't avoid it. It's impossible. So it'd be sick if the P-Wing and the Cloud Bro switched here. But it would also be fucked up because the cloud actually made it all the way over to the other side. Like that's so bullshit. I think a Lego Nintendo's cool and all. But you guys gotta hit me up with some dope ass shit for Legos. I love Legos so much. Connects? Who played with Connects? It hurts your thumbs. I'm not playing with that trash. Oh, dude, if he moves right. Come on! Cut me some slack, bro! Slack me up! Move right! Move right! God damn it. No chance, dude. Get over. Extra bro time. Hundo pattern. You should be happy, right? No, I'm not happy. So because I used the music box here when I didn't need to, should I? I think I should go for five one music box and try and skip the cloud bro music box to bring the time back. I think that's actually what I have to do. No, I've n I only stayed true to the Pro Builder sets. That's it. Often, often at times, the Pro Builder sets took so long to build that I couldn't, like, I... It's, it's like almost more than a hobby. It was like a job. 
right? Yeah, <laughs> tweezer to build them, that's be silly. Yeah, the other ones were really easy. Star Wars Legos are pretty cool, yeah. There's always some interesting StarCrafts that you get to, like, build and stuff. Right? Lego's expensive, that's why, right? That's... I'm quite sure that the aircraft carrier that I got, which I got for Christmas as a teenager, yes, I still got Lego for Christmas as a teenager, I didn't care. Right? It was probably cost my parents like 200 to 300 bucks, the aircraft carrier. It was like one of my main gifts too. You know how for Christmas everyone always gets like one main gift, the gift they wanted, maybe? I don't know. This Christmas is different for everyone. One Christmas, I wanted a Nintendo 64 so bad. That's all I wanted. It was a Nintendo 64. I think I was in the seventh grade, which means it was already out for quite a while. But I, I wanted my own N64 so bad with Mario Party and Super Smash Brothers and Mario 64. Okay, that's what the extra music Okay, so I think I think I actually have to do 5-1 route now and try and skip Yeah, skip all the Hammer Brothers in this world. Anyways, I wanted a Mario 60 or I wanted a Nintendo 64 so bad. So Christmas morning, I open up all my presents except for the main one, which my parents wait. And my mom put she I got the Nintendo 64, but they put it in a not Nintendo 64 box. So they opened it up, took it out, and put it in a different box. So that they could look at the disappointment on my face when I opened up my last present and it wasn't a Nintendo 64 box. But it was a Nintendo 64, it just oh my god, that was so frustrating. That was the most ultimate debate. God. So many emotions within the few seconds of my life. That's an important part of having kids fucking them over. Especially when they're greasy and sweaty for greedy crap. They trolled me hard, dude. They were building my character. They did. That really taught. That, that actually did teach me a lesson. That like, although it is Christmas, you don't deserve anything. Like you don't. Like sure, you're good all year, but that's not why you should be getting gifts and stuff like that. Yo, I always got Calvin. I love Calvin and Hobbes so much. I always had those books too. Like, would it be right for- like, let's just say my parents didn't get me a Nintendo 64 that year, even though I wanted it so bad. Does that give me the right to be a bad kid that I didn't get what I wanted for Christmas? No. You know what I mean? But that's not how the world works. There's kids out there, if they don't get what they want for Christmas, they're fucking- they're the worst. And that's fucked up, man. It's hard, though, because society 
school, parents, family, they put so much pressure on Christmas. There's so much pressure on Christmas, man. Why? It's like the worst. It's, like, it's the worst thing ever, man. Christmas is pressure. There's people out there that put a lot of pressure on other people for birthdays, too. It's like, man, I don't give a shit about your birthday. You're not gonna be my friend because I don't care about your birthday? N64 for Christmas, your brother went and found the presents like four days before and he opened it slightly to see what it was. You knew what it was and you couldn't open it four days later? That's the worst. You fucking juked yourself. Did I wanted to snoop so bad for Christmas? I only never did because I don't know. I don't know why. I think I did once or twice when I was really little, but I, I don't know. We all snoop once, right? Once or twice as kids. You're so greedy. I need to know it's for Christmas. I love it though. I'd never take that. If I had kids, I wouldn't take that spear away. Like, if my kids were greedy and, like, I wouldn't, I'd be, I'd go easy on them. I fucking snick. You know, sneak little presents. It's not the end of the world. But it is, man. Oh. It is. You feel like such a criminal after you sneak into your parents' closet and look at your gifts? You feel like a criminal. That's all it is. That's it. You're a criminal. Pay the price. That's it. Pay the toll. Control toll. Why did I fight him? No, I could have. I was supposed to skip him. Why did I fight him? No. And I could have skipped him too. No, dude. Oh, man. Fuck. I had the opportunity to skip them too. Well, that's what happens when you're not paying attention. Well, at least you guys know that I was enjoying our conversation together. Before Mario 3 crudely ruined it. Yeah, 7-9. Yep. Oh yeah, we gotta go for 7-9. Yep, 7-9. 7-9 would actually save it. But because the music box actually does nothing for us now, we wasted the P-Wing and we have an extra music box. All the jank- I didn't make- I don't even think I made mistakes for five. The only, thing, the only mistake I made was not getting, getting the music box. I got P-Speed in 5-5, five, 5-7. Five, five, Five one was good. Pyramid was good. What? Oh, cause my item inventory. That's right. So because I did the different route when I wasn't supposed to, I lose the time. Yo, six point nine though, guys. Six point nine. Oh, five two. I made a weird mistake. That's right. I like slid past the pipe. I don't even know what happened. I remember that, yeah. I made that mistake. You have a Lego Millennium Falcon waiting to be built. You love Legos, but have not dared to open it yet. You never found your presence. You tried though. You tried to look for the gifts. music boxes what? They switched so now's a good time to music box them. Come on, I still face rubbed? You gotta be shitting me. What is happening? 
Stop, man! What is this, dude? I'm like missing blocks. God damn it, dude. This is fucking garbage right here. Bleep, 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 bleep. Bleep, 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 bleep. Don't ask me, guys. I don't know what the heck's going on. There we go. Fucking great. There you go, I saved like nine frames there. Turns upside down, that's just like what the game does when it's like confused. <laughs> nice! Yo Slade, what up? 38 months? Is beautiful. Thanks, I wish man. it could last forever. It does last forever, actually. Last for all eternity. How's the uh, Mario Hour going? Alright, I'm sandwiched here. If I would have saved my music box, I'd be saved. But we know the Hammer Brothers gonna move down, right? Right? He loves me! What in my inventory right now? I'm gonna get 643 clip this run. I know I am. You guys have no idea how set in stone it is. It's pretty much guaranteed. So, funny enough, World 7 is like the dream World 7, okay? So, <laughs> in World 7, I gotta do 7, 1, 7, 6, and 7, 9 with the perfect hammer suit grabs and stuff. The dream. This is the most, wor this is the worst, it's like the worst World 7 you ever could have. It's not how you want to do 7. I might as well just go 7, 1, 7, 6, 7, 7, and 7, 9. Why not? What do I have to lose? Happy birthday? Get out of here. All right, 643 clip, let's go. Six, seven second time save, six, seven, who knows? All I know, let's go. Oh, it was it. I mean, I wasn't wrong. I did it. <laughs> I still did it, it's just, it just freaking sucks. <laughs> That's actually really funny. This game hates me today? Not even, dude. I got a 5123 with three hands. I was on world record pace with the hands today. This is my fourth early hammer run as well. Game's going really well today. You gotta respect the game when it's working for you. You gotta let the game know that I get it. I understand Mario 3 what you're doing for me today. I get it. Now just keep doing that every day. And you won't turn out like your brothers and sisters over there on the floor in couples of pieces. And I'm talking to a video game cartridge, so. Back to reality. Yeah, Mario 3's got a couple brother sisters over there on the floor, a couple plastic chunks and pieces all over the place, a couple dents in the ceilings. I'm not lying, like, I literally throw them around. Whatever, it's all good. I have one copy of Mario 3 that counts, and that's my 9.4. There it is. Beautiful. Later, World 
have been bad. Well, it seems like they've been bad, but it was me that was bad because I forgot that I was supposed to avoid the music box on both five. My time would definitely be much better had I remembered. Why am I losing so much? Oh, because I fell in the spike. That's right. I fell in my spikes. All right, we gotta go for seven, seven, two, guys. Seven, one, seven, six, fast seven, two, seven, seven, and seven, nine. We're doing all the sevens. And just maybe, maybe we can walk out of here zero, zero time. Even then we'd still lose six seconds and seven or eight seconds in world eight. But still, let's have fun with it, guys. I did the subpixel 15 move, but I definitely tapped again, so I'm probably... I highly doubt I'm subpixel 14. Yep, I was... I was... Probably subpixel 13. Alright, so two perfect jumps. Three perfect jumps. So, when, when you do the subpixel manipulation and you tap, you don't know exactly when you're gonna move, but you have to react fast enough to, like, stop tapping once you move. But it gets harder and harder. Third try is not too bad. It's the first try 7-7. Seven, seven. That's gonna be the icing on the cake. I don't- I don't know. I don't think I hit it. No, I Uh, there's- you have left bros and right bros. On the cover where it says bros, where's the bros located? Almost one years of Mitch, but my account is exactly one years old today, party hat. Yeah, 12 months, right there. That's one full year, buddy. Alright, should I be stubborn and not do a turn back? No, I'm not doing it. I shouldn't have to turn back to avoid flowers. That's just ridiculous. Stubborn. Being stubborn doesn't always pay off, guys. Never surrender. I was playing with fire a bit there. Two flowers. Risky moves. Can't believe I gotta go for 7-6 seven, and 7-7, seven, seven, then 7-9. Seven, None of the clips are working first try, so this is definitely when 7-7 seven, seven works. Alright, bad RNG, bad RNG, bad jump, bad RNG, bad RNG, there we go, good RNG, finally. Yeah, when I jump into the corner and Mario stops and like you can see the wall like mess with him, that means I jumped correctly, but bad subpixel. That's how I know it's bad RNG. Piss level. Oh, I thought I got it. Oh, come on, that was it. Now, let's never speak of that run again. Let's never speak of that run again. <laughs> Can we get five early hammers in one day, guys? That would be early hammer world record. We've already gotten two in a row today, too. So let's get... 
Let's get two times two in a row early hammers today. Let's get five early hammers.